Mm -hmm. My name is Mark Anderson, and I've been a supporter of the Hur movement for almost 40 years, uh, since I first met Amalia Yashtela and Penny Hess in the 1980s, while I was a graduate student at UC Berkeley. Since that time, I've participated in multiple campaigns and institutions of the Uhuru movement. Uh, that includes political campaigns, such as ballot measures, as well as economic institutions, uh, such as a bakery. Uh, even most recently, I was a participant in supporting a, a community basketball court in St. Louis. I have to say that in all of these past de decades that I've been involved in the Uhuru movement, it's put out an absolutely consistent message, um, which recognizes that African, Chicano, Native American communities in this country live in colonial conditions. And just like in any colony, that means they are denied power over their own lives, whether it be in health, education, or of course the police. So having witnessed and participated in, in, the, in this history, I see that these charges against the Uhuru Three are completely ludicrous. Uh, this is not some organization that just sprung out over the past few years with some unknown agenda. This is an organization that's been in existence for decades and has been straightforward and public about their actions and their messages for all that time. Um, I also wanted to say that there's some, there's a well-known quote uh, from a century ago, I think attributed to Voltaire, that I disapprove of what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. So, and in fact, that's the only kind of free speech right that means anything, which is when what's being said is not approved of by those in power. Um, every nation allows people to be cheerleaders for whatever it is that the gover their government is doing. It's only when it's in conflict that it means anything. So anyone who really believes that this country is a haven for free speech must recognize that this case against the Uhuru Three is just a blatant violation of any kind of free speech principle. So that is why free the Uhuru Three, and thank you very much. Uhuru.